this is actually my last day in the UK and we're going to Paris tomorrow. And um, uh, we're going for dinner now. What I'm wearing today is uh, the Rebozo boots that I got the last time I was in the UK. If you guys remember, it's from Boxing Day. Got like a great deal. And um, yeah, for like the trousers, I'm wearing these samples that me and my friend made for our brand. And um, oh, excuse me one second. So I'm feeling like covering like the boots with like the uh, flare of the trousers. I'm kind of lazy, that's why I'm not tying up the laces, but yeah. Because I just put it down like this, so like the uh, hem kind of covers it up. And for like this shirt, I think I got these some faded single stitch t shirts from the sun rags and for the coats. It's something I actually left in my brother's apartment that we got at Edinburgh last time, right? At, oh, what's the store called? Uh, T69. 69A. Oh, yeah, Liverpool. Liverpool, yeah. not Edinburgh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Liverpool. Yeah, yeah and for the necklace, it's got the uh, Martin Margiela cap, bottle cap, yeah, the one necklace. With cones, right? Yeah, for like the early 2000s, I think. Yeah. You know, like personally, I actually prefer yeah. when you wear boots like this instead of, yeah. you know, um, have them stack on yeah. the top of it. I uh -huh. prefer to go over it and flare yeah, over like, the Yeah, like your trousers, I mean, like your legs kind of look longer. Yeah, than yeah. That, right? yeah. And it feels like you're not trying too hard. Because mm -hmm. when you like take it out, it's like you're short. short yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of, Yo, I'm wearing yeah. Rick well, Owens. It, yeah, it depends on like the uh, look. You're yeah, like what for. kind of fit do you want? Yeah, 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 yeah. When I'm going for like a more like Rick, Rick fit, then I'll probably like, yeah, show. Right, but, like, yeah. when I'm going for like a low key vintage dinner look with friends, yeah. then probably not, right? Yeah, wait. Actually, let me film you guys. So, guys, like, they put up with this little <laughs> denim with black couple fit. Gosh, that, that, that was actually really cute. So, I was really surprised when, like, uh, I was really surprised when you put up in, like, a, you know, like, denim mini dress, basically, because you don't usually wear that. Yeah. But when I, like, looked at what Eric was wearing, I was like, oh, holy shit, that actually makes sense, right? But I actually don't think she did this on purpose. No? Uh, yeah, she just bought a new dress. And nah. Gonna wear it and oh, then, yeah. All right. I got this from Paris. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear that boots. Oh, what's yeah. it? Where's it from? Oh, yeah. And the millimeter. The whole fit will be my. Like, the Yo, the socks. Uh huh. Yeah, the socks, like the little detail. You must do the socks. <laughs> oh my god! Like what? What a good choice out of all those colors. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. This is our first official day in Paris. Going to meet up with Giz and Val. This is actually my third time in Paris, but the last time I'm here is in my first year of university, and back then I wasn't that into fashion. So I'm really excited to check out what what Paris has to offer in terms of fashion. Without further ado, let's go. What I'm wearing today is this Elix black means jacket. I wear it every time I travel around. For the trousers, it's uh, some Midori Kawa mummy trousers that I mentioned in my other video. I think these are from 2019, but then like nowadays they have like a retro version of these. Kind of reminds me of the undercover scab aesthetic. The only thing I don't like about them is like this little hole in the back. It's kind of weird. The boots that I'm wearing are the bozo boots. I covered it up so you can't really tell, but these are like the double zip bozo boots with the uh, mega lace that I bought my other trip to London. Are those Guidis? Yes. It's the Matrix ones. Like yeah. Steel. Oh, they kind of remind me of the Dirk Bickenberg. I really like the front zips. Uh huh. You know, the PL2s. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of them, but uh -huh. the double zips. Yeah. So far. But they designed this for the. Oh, uh, for the movie. For the movie. So yeah. They wore it. Yeah, I so they wore it. The movie I heard uh -huh. the movie yeah, it's cool. trash. Yeah. I also didn't. No. You like Guidis? Uh, I've never bought into Guidis oh, really? before, but yeah, I. I yeah, the trousers are the ones you tried on yesterday, right? The yeah. Kiko ones. And the construction is actually pretty cool. Right? It's really cool, but the yeah. hardware is trash. Are these called the balloon jacket? The balloon jacket. Yeah, look, I know everything about Kama oh, I got, yeah, I actually told you last time, right? Yeah, I, yeah, I, I've i been following yeah, since it's like a yeah, private yeah. account. <laughs> wait, so that's blue. Wait, is that it's navy? It's navy. Is there like one sample jacket you made that's in leather? Or, wait, did you make, yeah? Did you make like a... Yeah, oh yeah, the silver one. Oh, that's not leather. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. It's the fabric. 
fabric. Guess the fabric? Is that nylon? No? What is that? It's a... Uh, soon to be revealed. There was one time I had a really serious back injury. Uh-huh. So I couldn't really like move a lot. Like she had to like help me like, you know, change clothes. It was yeah. that serious. Oh, wow. And then I saw Kanye was in town. There was like multiple like sightings of uh, Kanye, oh, Kanye in yeah. Harajuku. Oh, And then my God. friend was in Isatan. He's like this big guy. Yeah. And he was trying on a clothes in Isatan. And then he said some dude blocked his view in front of the mirror. Yeah. And it goes Kanye. So he texted me like, yo, this Kanye is in Isatan. I was Holy like, crap. he said, you know, I have a back injury. And yeah. Everything. And then I was like, oh, I gotta see, we gotta yeah. go see, you know, Kanye. So, like, that was so funny because then I could suddenly move. <laughs> I was like changing my clothes like I was like hey wow I need to go see Kanye like let's call an Uber Uber So we pulled up to the men's Yeah and then uh, I had a feeling you know he would be walking around the second floor Yeah of course the second floor Because yeah. the third floor is luxury so he's not gonna be looking at luxury so the second floor is designer designer stuff yeah so I was looking at clothes because I knew he was around somewhere and then he suddenly pulled up next to me you know yeah. and he was like looking oh, at the same God. rack uh -huh. Did you say anything? Yeah, no, no, it didn't. No, no, because that was the first time I was starstruck. Uh -huh. Granted, you know, I saw a lot of celebrities and I met with a lot of celebrities, but Kanye yeah. is like my guy, you know? Yeah, Kanye is my guy too. He's like the god. I have all his albums. Like back to back home, yeah. So I was really starstruck for the first time. I was literally like, yeah. He was, I remember, he was like so, like, big. He's big? No, like, he's not that tall, but he's so. Yeah. Thick and like big, long legs, uh -huh. really small face, super broad shoulders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. What? It was, it was black eaters, you know? Right? <laughs> Or something uh, like that, and I was oh, like, and or something like that. Yeah. I, he might have just made up the story. Yeah, so. I think he might have. So I was like, yeah, but uh, I I own this exact same pair, and this is this is the reason why it's fake. And luckily, thank God, I spoke Japanese and kept writing Japanese. Yeah. Because you know, when you start to not like speak Japanese, they be like, yeah. ignore your messages. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but because of that, I was lucky to get like a refund. Okay. Then there was another time when for the Hemlock Flax. Mm -hmm. I have the white one, but yeah. the olive one. Yeah. It was like one that popped up in like Yahoo auction, so I bid for it. Uh, I think it finished around like Nijuma, Nijuma. 2K. Mm -hmm. It's still a decent price. Nijuma, it's fake. Yeah, yeah, but I didn't know it was fake. Yeah. So it was like, because the guy was like, 
hiding all the tags. So oh. After I got it, I asked the seller, hey, can you uh, email this, this part of the item to my email? And he did. And it was fake. Yeah. You know, I had yeah, the flags. So I was like, yeah. And I was like, bro, no. <laughs> yeah. No way, no way. You canceled the transaction? Yeah, so I canceled the transaction. Oh my God, that was close. So that was close. That was close. That, really if close. I got scammed for that, that would have been like a disaster. Yeah, that would be like a disaster in Nijuma. Oh my God. Other yeah. than that, I didn't. I don't have an incident of like buying a fake. But I do have experience of getting scammed. So. Oh, you do? Of course. Oh, I've a long never. Time. It's a long yeah. time. So. I've never got scammed yet. Look at me. And I always pay through like PayPal, friends, and family pay. So I was quite surprised that I haven't got scammed so far. Yeah, you should be careful. Yeah. No, nah, there's fun, one funny story. That was like this was like like back four or five years ago. Uh -huh. This was like like a, when needles pants was huge. Uh huh. Yeah. And then. Still, Supreme was huge too. Yeah. And then there was this kid. His name I still Rory something. Uh -huh. Little kid, like yeah. I don't know, like 14, 15 year old. Kid? He looks like a kid. All right. Yeah. <laughs> and he was using his dad's card or something. Okay. But he's and a he, kid. They, they, I was selling, and then I, I proxied a lot of like needles, crack pants before. And then this was like I happened to have like it was like a leftover yeah. thing that someone canceled. And this dude said like, Yo, you want to trade for like someone? Like the Supreme, and it was a Supreme that I that I liked. It was like the flower one. Uh -huh. And I was like, I was a little skeptical. I was like, like, can you ship first? And he was like, yeah, I can ship first. Like a trade. Yeah. So I was like, oh, he's shipping first. I was like, okay. Yeah. And then like, so it was almost arrived, but I should have you know checked it and then shipped it, but yeah. because it was so like, he didn't hesitate to ship first. So I thought, yeah. oh, it must be real. Uh -huh. So I so I sent oh, so I sent it's the pass. Yeah, and then I received the bag and I immediately knew something was wrong. You yeah. yeah. could feel it, and oh, you could shit. feel the no. key in the bag. And uh -huh. then, you know, I, I even went to the post office to get it. Yeah. I was in a hurry. Yeah, you wanted to get it first, right? Yeah. And then I opened it and it was like a fucking bag of dust. No. <laughs> it was like, oh, there's nothing inside? It was so embarrassing. Yeah. All the Japanese people were looking at it. Like, oh, my oh God. poor guy. Like, yeah, oh, that was that, but I mean, like, it was whatever. It was only like, you know, needles, track pants. Yeah, but still. It was not really expensive. Yeah, then he blocked you after that. Yeah, he blocked Yeah, I mean, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> it was a little bit okay, but I mean, whatever. If you, if you enjoy the pants, whatever. But. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like I'm lucky that you know, like the people who buy into like Carol and other stuff, they're usually not total assholes. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Like they're usually it's, some. It's, it's like you know, mature yeah, people. They're more like 40, 30 year yeah, old men people. in Europe, and like I've never got scammed. Yeah, exactly. Like like the recent purchase I bought, like a CCP one, was like the guy was like like exactly like yeah. very cool, yeah. like mid thirties, forties yeah, guy. 30s, 40s, yeah. uh, yeah, it was like it was very uh, like shipping was like smooth DHL everything very yeah. smooth transaction. I got it like three days after. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's a mature community, so. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's probably why not having got scammed. Yeah. So far. But you know what? We actually got some fakes before, right? The Jordan threes. <laughs> I think we got it in like mid school, right? around like a second grade and like uh -huh. the color is like gamma blue uh -huh. and we got it in japan we got it on medicari uh -huh. so like back then we visit japan so often like uh -huh. my dad have like this little house in narita so that's near narita airport and we buy stuff for so i've been using medicari for years now i've been using it since i was like 14 years old yeah, yeah. and we got like the shoes we shipped it to like my our uh, relative space and then we got it and it's totally like like you, you don't even have to legit check the shoes to be honest just uh -huh. see them and you know them. Yeah, yeah, like, that's, that's how bad they like how bad That's it was. completely the worst fake Jordan yeah, I ever saw. Yeah, that's the worst saw. fake Jordan. Yeah, like, they I, didn't even bro, use leather. We still have the shoes. It's still in Narita. Like oh, the, really? cuz I travel from Narita Airport to Paris, right? Yeah, and, and I still found the shoes and I was like, holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> These are the fakes we got from like mid school. And, yeah. and then like, because we didn't really speak Japanese, so we got like scammed. And then like yeah. we tried to reach out, but then like he didn't really yeah. reply. Yeah, and uh, that guy obviously he know that's a fake shoe, right? That's not even like the obviously. Same shoe. Yeah, I mean obviously. So, yeah, I feel I feel like for me that's probably the only time I got scammed. I'm usually really careful. Speaking of Jordans, like yeah. the Jordan one, like uh, the breads. Yeah. I bought what? This was like 2016. Yeah. You know, Rinken, right? Very, very yeah, prestigious very, store yeah, very in prestigious. Japan. They had a Jordan bread, Jordan one bread, 2000. Uh, I forgot which. 
2001. Uh -huh. the it was 2001. You know, the version was 2001. You know, I was happily wearing. I was, you know, like posting yeah, yeah. pics, yeah. going to school. I didn't even bother legit checking it. You know what I mean? Yeah, because it's from Rinkin. I bought it. Yeah. Yeah. I was Rinkin, I was and also, like it. Rinkin does like Chrome Hearts, so they're really good at legit checking stuff. Yeah. If they're yeah. not the pro, then like no one in Japan yeah, exactly. will, will be liable yeah. to call themselves a pro. To be honest, and then I was posting like you know detailed photos, every day, every day, detailed photos. And then this one dude was like, messaged me saying, "Hey, like respectfully, I think yours is fake. I don't think you realize it's fake because I was like posting all detailed yeah, photos." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like back to yeah. yeah. And he was like, "I think yours is fake." And I was like, "Oh shit! Like, what the fuck? Let me let me check." Mm -hmm. And he was explaining why it's fake. So I went back to Rinkin and I was like saying. Yo, I think this is fake. And they were like, Yo, do you have a receipt? Yeah. And I was like, What the fuck are you talking about? Like, yeah, you, you, you fucking sold me a fake. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if I have the receipts, yeah. I'll always keep my receipts. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh. But in my head is like, What if I don't have my receipts? Yeah, because I always throw my receipts, receipts away. And they're like my homies too. Like, they're like I, I know a lot of people there. And they're like, they were like, and then I started to get mad. And they were like, Oh, we're sorry. And then they refunded me immediately the full amount. Yeah. And I was like, Yeah. Holy Dude. crap, bro! Like that didn't go to Rincon for like a year because yeah. I was like so pissed. I mean, like I never go to Rincon. It's so expensive, but yeah, like still, was back when it was like 2016. Yeah, it was so, better. There were still like yeah. good prices. They were decent cool. back then. Yeah, I Dude, used you to could go find to some gems there. Like I bought like the Tider Ackerman like black satin jacket for like 300 bucks there because they didn't know the Hyder market back mm -hmm. then. Yeah. So I used to get a lot of Hyder like Ackermans for a really good price. Yeah. And even like Raph Simmons was so cheap there. Yeah, back then Raph Simmons and also so Rick Goins. So Rick Goins were really yeah, cheap. Very yeah. cheap. Back then at the Shibuya store, the second floor. Bro, it was so cheap. Yeah, that's it's where like they like have and like Yeah, Ichiman. exactly. The, the pods are like Ichiman and Ramones was like Niman and Brad. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, oh, you can't yeah. find that view. Yeah, we can't find that. And like the store, like the store is actually refurbished. Yeah. 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 It's, yeah. it's not split into two floors. It's like three floors. Yeah, now it's like, yeah. They have all floors inside. Yeah, they have like a spinning staircase. Yeah. Yo Chanel. Yo Chanel, what's happening with the packages? <laughs>